good afternoon to you all. Uh, my name is Jure Den Haan and I present the first step towards a world without Alzheimer's disease. Um, I think the brain is the most fascinating organ we have um, because it helps me to memorize the talk I'm about to give to you. Um, it helps me to put my ideas into words and it helps me to use this uh, remote to, uh, um, to toggle throughout the presentation. But at the same time, it explains part of my behavior. It explains how I'm holding my nerves here. Um, and it uh, actually part of explains the people I am today. But what if I would lose all these abilities one by one? What if I would develop Alzheimer's disease? Well, one out of eight people in this room will develop Alzheimer's disease. And that brings me to my big question. Can I use my brain to save yours in the future? and stop Alzheimer's disease from happening? Well, I think I can, and I'm gonna show you how. Today I present iRead, imaging the retina for early diagnosis in Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is the leading cause of dementia in the world, and there are 35 million people suffering from the disease today. But with the increasing lifespan, we expect the figure to increase to 150 million in the next few decades. And you can call Alzheimer's disease one of the biggest socio-economic problems we challenge in the 21st century. And all these figures lead to this figure that one out of eight of us will develop Alzheimer's disease if we don't do anything. Well, it's not only about the figures. Alzheimer's disease is a devastating disease touching the essence of human beings, affecting their memory, affecting their ability to speak and communicate with loved ones and affecting their behavior. And you might wonder what goes wrong in the brain. Well, the problem is accumulation of the Alzheimer protein that leads to brain damage and ultimately leads to symptoms such as memory loss. And we know that this protein starts to develop 20 to 30 years before the symptoms start. So what we have tried is to stop this Alzheimer protein. But the problem is, we are too late in the disease course and the brain is already heavily damaged. So what we need is an early diagnosis to make therapy effective so we can treat the disease before brain damage is present. And we came up with a solution for that. What we propose is to use the eye as a window to the brain. Because the eye is easy accessible and contains brain cells what might reflect what's going on inside the brain. But how could we visualize the Alzheimer protein in the eye? Well, what we use is an ordinary spice called turmeric or geelwortel in Dutch, um, which is the main ingredient in Indian curries. And I brought some today for those of you who are not familiar with the spice or don't eat Indian regularly. So here you go. And um, it actually is an ingredient in nasi goreng, so I think most of all will have eaten it uh, by now. Um, but what is important is that we have known for years that this spice specifically binds to the Alzheimer protein and is fluorescent by nature, and that makes it easy detectable. So we're going to use this spice to make the Alzheimer protein visible in the eye of people with Alzheimer's disease with a special designed eye scanner. This diagnostic method will be early in the disease, patient friendly and inexpensive, and could mean a really big breakthrough in Alzheimer's disease research, uh, because it opens the door for effective treatment and maybe even prevention of the disease. So that is why I ask TEDx and their partners to help us raise awareness for Alzheimer's disease research so I can use my brain to save yours in the future and stop Alzheimer's disease from happening. Thank you.